Hello there, my friends. I am Ro D of Nutrisystem with Ro D. I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you're new here, and if you are returning, welcome back. And thanks for joining me today. Today, I have another What I Eat in a Day on the Nutrisystem Uniquely Yours plan. Although I am in maintenance, I still follow the plan, basically, and eat between 12 and 1,400 calories a day. Of course, that does not count non-starchy vegetables. I don't count those in my calories, because on Nutrisystem, we don't do that. So, let's see what we're going to have today. First off, one cup of almond milk is designated for my tea and coffee throughout the day. I count it as an extra because it's 30 calories. And for um, my AM snack today, I'm going to have one of my favorites, the Nutrisystem Chocolate Shake. And for those who are new and have not seen these before, this is the nutritional facts to the shake. I should say these are. Okay, so that takes care of AM snack. And now we're going to move on to breakfast. One of my favorite, favorite frozen food breakfast entrees from Nutrisystem, the buttermilk waffles. Absolutely yum. I just put them in the toaster and put some sugar-free syrup, which I'll show you in a sec. And here are the nutrition facts for those that would like to know about them. And next up is what do I put on them in terms of syrup? I have this one. My favorite one is really the Walmart brand, but... Uh, it must have been a day when they didn't have it and I was shopping and needed some, so I picked up this one. This is five calories for two tablespoons, so it's free on the Nutrisystem plan. Next up is lunch. I'm going to have one of my favorites. This is a shelf-stable item from Nutrisystem. It is the uh, mac and cheese white cheddar. There you go. And for nutrition facts. I really enjoy this. It's, it's just done in the microwave with some water added to it. Very yummy and easy to make. What I'll have with this probably is uh, broccoli, broccoli florets. Okay, what are we gonna have for dinner? PM snack, I'm not sure yet. You'll see it when I get to it. Um, I really was undecided on that. It'll probably be cheese sticks and a fruit or something. I don't know, something really simple and quick. Anyway, this is a new item I have not tried before. The chipotle chicken and bacon flatbread what i'm probably going to do is either add um half a power fuel because for dinner time i get three power fuels and a small carb so this is going to be two power fuels and a small carb for the pizza so i have an additional one to add so i may add if i get a roasted chicken today at bj's some of that in addition to that i'll put either some fat-free mozzarella or some Velveeta shreds it depends on what I'm going to feel like when I go to make it, but you'll see that later on. So I would do half a power fuel of the cheese and half of the chicken if I want cheese on it. If not, I would just do a whole power fuel of chicken. Pretty simple, right? Not sure. I don't think I showed you the nutrition facts on this. Let me get that in there for you. Okay. Just a tip uh, before I get on to dessert. I have decided on dessert for tonight. I drink, um, in addition to water... I drink flavored seltzers. This one I happen to get at Aldi. It comes in lemon and all, all different ones, you know, typically of what you would see with the Polar brand, I guess. But this is a good way to get fluid into your body without adding um, any nasty ingredients like aspartame and, and other things like that. So this is just plain and it has natural flavoring in it. I'm sure by now most people know about these, but I generally do not track anything as water if it's not seltzer with nothing in it or water itself. Everybody has a different opinion on that, but that's just what I do and I thought I'd share it with you. So for tonight, I've shown you these in a shopping spree that I did. Um, these are from Aldi. They do have, am I holding it right set up? Yes. They do have one gram of fiber. I have to turn it upside down to um, show you the nutrition facts if you're interested. So they are compliant with Nutrisystem in terms of being a small carb if you compare it to the chart, pardon me. Um, so 
I don't eat these a lot, but I picked this up to have with a yogurt, and I'm going to have one of these Oikos. This one is the mixed berry. I'll have this, and I'll probably add an extra's worth of Cool Whip, and I will definitely put some sugar-free syrup, which is free, um, and make it kind of into a yogurt sundae. That's what I'm thinking. So that's going to be dessert for tonight. And so now I'm going to turn us around, or turn you around, so that you can see how my day of eating turns out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit. Here we have my Nutrisystem shake. What I've done today is made it into, I'm going to call it a cherry cordial, which is just adding some of this black cherry um, sugar-free jello powder to it. When I go to blend it, I put about, I don't know, a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. It does look a little red. I mean, I can tell it's a little bit red. But in any event, I do sometimes enjoy flavoring um, the shakes. I basically stick with the chocolate fudge. These I do get on Amazon for those of you who are interested in finding out. Um, I haven't ordered them in a while, so I'm not really sure how much they're charging on Amazon now, but they're definitely cheaper than buying them directly from Nutrisystem. So... I do use four to five of these old-fashioned size ice cubes. I fill my Nutribullet line to the maximum with water, and then I add in my shake mix. It comes out to be very, very creamy. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera, and I really enjoy it that way. Uh, my white flask is full of water. I'm shooting for 64 ounces a day, which is three of those, to get my water quota in. It really does help with hunger, for those of you um, who aren't aware. So, and it's also very beneficial for your body, by the way. On to breakfast. So I went into BJ's quickly. I picked up a nice chicken for $4.97. And I picked up some grape tomatoes. I need tomatoes for my salad that I'm having tonight with my pizza. And then I picked up these. I've been looking at these for a while and just was not sure if I really thought it was a good idea. To get them, I wanted some grapefruit. I don't usually buy fresh grapefruits because they're too big. And then once I have half, I usually don't end up, I end up wasting the other half. So in any event, these are eight, seven ounce cups. They do contain light syrup. So what I'll do is I'll just rinse them off. And then I will not worry about that this says it's 100 calories. I'll just add some extra fruit to it and um, enjoy it. So... Hopefully they'll be really good. Um, haven't had them before, like I said. I was just curious to try them. So all together, the chicken was $4.97. The red grapefruit was $10.99. And the grape tomatoes were like five and change. So this came to be just under $22 for the three items. These rotisserie chickens are really a great idea to have on hand for extra protein that's prepped and ready to go for you. You just have to cut it up and you can add it to a meal or a wrap or a salad. Uh, really good to have on hand, in my opinion anyway. Just wanted to give you a little tip. If you've never made these lunch cups before, just always put the cup in a bowl when you put it in the microwave because you never know if it's gonna spill over. So this is what the macaroni and cheese looks like after I cooked it in the microwave for a little bit more than one and a half minutes with five ounces of room temperature water in it. So now you take this little packet and you pour it in and you give it a good stir. And then once it's all incorporated, you're, you're gonna cover it, seal it tight with foil, and then um, let it stand. I can't remember for how many minutes. I'll tell you that when we come back. Here is lunch. The macaroni and cheese came out perfectly cooked. I just follow the instructions on the container. And I have here, it's probably a cup and a half of broccoli florets. These are just the great value steamable bags that I always buy. And I put some parquet spray on that and some garlic powder before I heated it back up. I'm going to go enjoy this. Please excuse Cora chomping in the background. This is my snack for this afternoon, the PM snack. It's going to be two cheese sticks and a cup of grapes. These grapes are really delicious. They're very sweet. Got them from BJ's. Here is what's for dinner tonight. I have the Nutrisystem 
chipotle chicken and bacon flatbread, which is the first time I'm trying this. And I get an extra power fuel with my dinner. So what I've done is I've divided the power fuel up amongst two cheeses and uh, rotisserie chicken breasts that I had gotten at BJ. So what did I do? I took the Velveeta cheddar, figured out 15 grams is 32 calories. Then I took the fat-free Kraft mozzarella cheese, which I put on top of the pizza for 32 calories, 20 grams. And then two ounces of the chicken breast is 55 calories. So a total of one power fuel for 119 calories with this meal. And then I'm having a cup of this um, Wellesley mild salsa, which is a raw vegetable. So all together for today, I will have had um, three, four vegetables because my broccoli was a cup and a half of cooked and that equals three. So I put some of the GU's uh, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce over the chicken and then I took the cheddar cheese, the Velveeta, and put that on top of that. Uh, what did I do? This is the, what the chicken looks like. I've taken it off the bone, and gotten rid of the skin. So for my pizza, I used some of my Viva Pizzeria and I put some garlic powder, of course, and I sprayed because the, pardon me, because the fat-free cheese does not melt so very well. So if if you spray it with a little cooking spray, um, just as a tip, it will come out very nicely. And I did cook this in my air fryer, and I did let it defrost um, in my refrigerator since this morning, just in case you wanted to know that. That's how I generally like to do things. So it cooks quicker and um, I don't burn it. I made a yogurt parfait out of the Oikos Triple Zero and I added some Cool Whip, a little bit of Hershey's Zero Sugar Syrup, a few sprinkles, and this 100 calorie snack pack from Aldi, the chocolate wafer, which is 100 calories for the pack and it has a gram of fiber. So that's a small carb. The yogurt is power fuel. And this is my flex dessert for tonight. And I still have not eaten my PM snack, so I switched out the yogurt for a cheese stick and I'll have my red grapefruit. This is the last thing I'll be having today. Breakfast for nighttime snack. I never got to eat breakfast today, so I'm going to be having it now. This is the Nutrisystem buttermilk waffles, and I have some sugar-free syrup on the side for dipping, and I just spray it, spray the waffles with some parquet spray, and I'm also having some seltzer water with that. On that note, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you found the video helpful, and I will look forward to seeing you again in the next one that I make for you. Take good care and be well. Mm -hmm.